So now, here we have a relay component. I'm using 12 volts to power everything, but you don't have to, but we do need 12 volts for the coil because it's a 12 volt relay. That's what that means. So there we go, we energize the coil and it switched position. When we uh, release power, the uh, coil doesn't stop current instantly, so we got that flyback dialed. And uh, now we're back to the normally closed position. Um, but you know, just get a module. Don't uh, actually buy these uh, basic uh, relays for the most part. But in case the 12 volts indicates that's the coil voltage, you just apply the voltage or remove it. When the coil is not energized, each one of these switches there are connected to the normally closed. Middle pin is common right there. And you energize it, a magnetic field moves the switch up on both sides right there. They're completely separate, but they move at the same time. And um, so that's normally closed, coils energized, that's not normal, so that is where they connect. And those two upper LEDs will light up with my dem demonstration uh, circuit there. So that's uh, really about it. So now we got a schematic diagram for a basic uh, relay right there, single pull, double throw right there. This is not the same setup we got there. We're using 12 volts for everything, so all these resistors are 1000 ohms. now. You can see we got the single pull double throw for this. Um, you know, maybe there's another pull and double throw that we're not using, which would make it a double pull double throw, but you can use just one. Now, you don't have to use the same voltage for the load as you do to energize the coil. The coil has a specific voltage. You apply about 12 volts across it and it energizes. Now, when it energizes, the uh, switch moves from the normally closed position to the normally open position. That LED will light up. Again, we're using 5 volts, so only 220 ohms to protect uh, probably red LEDs. When you open the switch, that de-energizes the coil. The switch goes back. Um, the switch part of the relay. You open this switch, de-energizing the coil. The coil does not stop current instantly, so we have a flyback dial to capture that energy. 